Tullamore Forest Park. Archer is absolutely loving it. And I have to say, so am I. This forest park was originally um, a hunting park back in, started in 1710. And a few different families were owned it before the state bought it and made it Northern Ireland's first state park in the 1950s, I believe. But it cost five pounds per car to get in here. If you park outside and walk in, then it's free. I didn't tell you that though. And a mighty fine morning to you all folks. So as you can see, the breakfast is on. Archer is currently warming up because Archer doesn't like the cold too much. So he's still wrapped up, but he has had his breakfast and everything. So we're all good there. But this is the view that we woke up to this morning. coming to you from the Peace Wall right now. So this is the Peace Wall here in Belfast. And I'm not sure if you know it, but Belfast, or I'm sorry, Northern Ireland is not a part of the Republic of Ireland. So you have 32 counties in total in Ireland. 26 of them make up the Republic and six up the North make up uh, Northern Ireland, which is still part of the UK to this day. <music> Good morning to you all folks. So just up and about now, Archer as you can see is uh, tidying himself up. The kettle is on, but it's absolutely miserable outside. The good luck weather has finally given away. I promise there is a view of the ocean down there, but <laughs> at the moment we're thinking we're gonna have a lazy afternoon, or lazy day in total. We're going to saunter around here for now and then we may take a walk in Glen Arath, Glen later on because it's wet and we deserve a treat, a birthday treat, a delayed birthday treat, isn't that right? That's the plan. <laughs> did hold out to the birthday yesterday in fairness and today has been pretty much this but look at this view a bit hazy but stunning there's Roisin in all her glory and that's where we're going to be parking up for tonight there's Archer in all his glory who's going to be gunning for his dinner very shortly and that is the plan right now
giant claws causeway this morning we decided we'd treat ourselves a little bit we've been cooking and eating in the van uh, every day and uh, it's the only way we can do it to keep cheap so we came down here to the village of bushmans getting a cappuccino for myself right now breakfast on the way and arches is here because it's the bill billberry cafe it's dog friendly they even have a dog menu so archer is currently waiting on a dog breakfast which is sausage scrambled egg and bacon I'm a sucker for a sucker. With Northern Ireland being part of the island of Ireland, but being part of the UK, um, towns and villages have different ways of showing what side they support, whether they see themselves as British or Irish. So you see a lot of these murals, um, posters, flags, and then curbs and what have you. So clearly, you can see there what side this neighborhood lands on. good morning folks so this is where we woke up this morning and thankfully after the last day or two the blue sky is back at the moment so fingers crossed that last arch is out doing his business but got woken up by a bunch of fishermen this morning they're heading out to our boats there but, uh, today we head back to Derry, we're gonna have a little wander around Derry City before we start making our way back down south. But first, breakfast. Well folks, I think this brings an end to our journey through Northern Ireland. Just over this side is the town of Straban and just over the river on the other side over here is Lifford and these two towns are basically the marking point of the end of Northern Ireland and the start of the Republic. But on this spot used to mark a checkpoint um, of border control once upon a time by the British military but now it stands these sculptures so these are the two dancers, ready to poised and ready to start dancing. And over here, you have one that's ready with a fiddle on the strap band side, and one that has a tin whistle on the Lifford side. And here is the drummer ready to start between the two. So this basically marks, um, just shows unity between the two from either side, these two from either side, and drummer that brings them together marking the peace between Northern Ireland and the Republic and those are all that have been involved so I feel that's a good spot to end this journey folks myself and Archer have had a pleasure come here sit of having a log and we hope that you uh, like share and follow along and we'll have plenty more adventures yet to go 
from us. Peace and love to you all. See you soon.